What's up, family? <clears throat> this is BKA Boy. I haven't come to you guys in a minute. <clears throat> Just been busy. You know, it is the new year. Happy New Year to everybody. Um, but I felt like I needed to get to you guys just because uh, brother-in-law went to Cuba uh, this summer, grabbed a couple of uh, cohibas, right? A couple of uh, cohibas. <laughs> this one is uh, says from Habana, Cuba. I believe it's pronounced Bejique. Right. I know because I know a couple of times, you know, just traveling, you pick up some cigars. Sometimes they're a little different. This right here, they came sealed in the pack. Been holding on to it for me for a while. Uh, he's out in Maryland, so you know, came through for the holidays and bought this. For me. And um. I just felt like maybe I needed to do a little review on this one. I already cut it, as you can see. <clears throat> had some things I had to do this morning. And um, not going into work. <laughs> Took care of the things I had to take care of. And I just felt like this is the perfect time. You know, enjoy the cigar. You know, it has a really beautiful band to it. All right, now, I wish there was a way I could actually... Show you guys this here, but uh, Bejique looks like it says Be Hike, but I'm gonna try doing that little accent. But um, either way, listen, nicely wrapped. Uh, probably been sitting in my human door for just a couple of days. Um, the truth is, I'm not gonna lie to you, I had it in a little Ziploc uh, in my car. Went to a spot the other day to um. To have a uh, you know have some cigars um shout out to santana's um premium cigars in brooklyn and um when i got there i had planned on maybe smoking this one but then i walked into the human door and i saw the <laughs> just cigars and i thought to myself you know this listen i can't be here and not enjoy a nice santana premium cigar so i did that plus I don't think they really care too much for you smoking other cigars there, you know, but um, like I said, right now I'm about to enjoy this. I already lit it up, started it. It's a pretty nice burn. As you can see, it really nice smoke output it draws a little tight but uh, with that I'm not gonna lie to you. I actually do like that I do find find that um pretty decent cigars usually have somewhat of a resistant I mean, when you find a cigar that just pulls really easy, to me, um, that sometimes kind of makes me feel like it's just a cigar that um, just full of whatever filler they're going to throw. You know, it's just like, I don't know, can't explain it. You know, it's just, I usually find the cigars who have that have somewhat of a tighter, um, a little bit of resistance tend to be a better cigar all right now I'm not gonna say that I need to done it you know, pass out trying to pull on the cigar you know but right now I'm enjoying this Basic little. Ooh, damn. Ooh. Yeah, being out here, sometimes you see some things. These people are so 
interested in, yeah, I got to get to work. I got to get to work that, you know, she's about to run in front of a car. If it wasn't for the quick thinking of the car, the car had been over, you know. But uh, like I said, love to have my underrated coffee shop coffee. I don't always have to go to the Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts and all these other little fancy spots, you know. Just straight up coffee shop slash diner, you know. Works for me. I won't lie to you, Bodega Coffee is on point a lot of times too. I guess you gotta find the right spots because it moves, it keeps fresh. say just like I've had Cuban cigars before and it's weird because uh, the wrap itself straight up looks like a uh, nice little Connecticut wrap you would expect a very light cigar but it, it's not I mean it's, it's a usually very rich cigar it has you know somewhat of I like to say the vanilla taste and I think a lot of times people say vanilla and you in your head you're thinking really it tastes like uh like vanilla ice cream it's not that when you pull on the cigar it has like this it's kind of like a thick rich uh, it's, it's the only way to really describe it's like a cream taste uh, the smoke itself seems full rich understand? so that's why I think when I say vanilla I think of a very rich um, cigar you, know, you, you taste it you know um, does not have the peppery notes uh, it's not coming off as just like a hay type of thing just it Bridge, you know, it's nice and smooth. Okay. I'm gonna smoke a little bit more. I get back to you guys in a while. back guys I just wanted to get back and uh show you guys the little ash before I actually did ash it's holding up like I said burning really nice I like it the flavor itself is holding up and um I said this is a nice cigar enjoying it I'm gonna quit this uh flavor talking and gonna smoke the cigar and I'll come back to you guys and let you see how much I'm enjoying back to my music hey guys I'm about a little more than halfway done and still the cigar burns really nice still really enjoying it like I said, just kind of rolling around the whole neighborhood um, and just seeing all the changes. You know? All the changes from my junior high school to little shopping areas we used to go to, to the big old empty lot where we would go when uh, there was throwdowns. Right. I'll be back at you guys. before 
Cigar is still is burning really nice. This is, I guess, like I said, the Cohiba Habana, Habana Cuba, Mexique. I guess before it says Bihai, I'm gonna believe it says uh, Mexique. doing a quick review. Alright, I wanted uh, just to make sure I got a little something in as I took this ride. And the fact that I haven't you know, been on YouTube for a little while. Well, let's do my reviews. <laughs> but for the new year, probably going to slow them down. And just every so often, you know, do a, do a review on something that I actually think it is worthy of you know, doing it. And I think a lot of times I do the reviews just because I know that there's a very good chance that either someone hasn't done a review yet, uh, maybe I looked up and I couldn't find it. You know? And again, this is just for that person who decides that maybe you know, I'm out somewhere and I would like to pick up a cigar and I'm really not sure what it is, you know, how it is, you know, what it tastes like, or just whether or not it's worth it. Spend that couple of dollars on it. And this one, I will have to, you know, appreciate this man. Um, my brother-in-law, LJ, actually looked out, man, and definitely appreciate it. You know? So, I'm gonna roll around a little bit more. If anything changes, I, you know, hit you guys back up, but. I said before. The dry eyes loosened up. The flavor has pretty much stayed pretty consistent. It's not a head rush, you know, but you can feel the strength in this. You can. It's not, you know light dessert type cigar. This is a decent cigar. You know, um, it's cracking a little here. I'm going to say that might be. I'm not sure. Again, is it because of the fact that I had it in that um, wrap? So I say the Ziploc for a little while. But the fact that I did just uh, relight it. I had to run into my dad's house, take a quick little bathroom break. But again, I'll get back to you guys if anything changes right now. Enjoying. And if it's going to end right here, I'm going to tell you guys it's definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Again, Cohiba from Habana, Cuba. Bohique. BK boy. Deuce.